Hey everybody. So, um, for me and my body right now, it's the liver that I'm, uh, I mean, I feel like it's fine, but it's been in a lot worse shape, but I feel like it's probably taken a lot of the, a lot of damage of late. So, um, and you know, the more I learn about the liver, the more I realize how, like it says right here, it has over 500 functions. Like the liver does a lot more to the body than I ever knew. So perhaps the same could be true for you too. So yeah, did you know that the liver is responsible for over 500 functions in the body? <clears throat> As the biggest gland in the body, the liver does many vital jobs to keep you alive and at peak health. Most notable among these 500 jobs are storing vitamins and iron, converting stored sugar to usable sugar when the body's sugar levels fall below normal, destroying old red blood cells, and producing bile to break down and digest fats. So those 500 jobs take energy, so your liver cells are packed with mitochondria. Mitochondria are like little teeny power plants providing energy to our cells. When our mitochondria start to decline with age or illness, our livers can sometimes bear the brunt of this. There are as many 2,000 mitochondria in every liver cell, and without them running at 100%, our livers aren't able to effectually detoxify our blood or properly metabolize the food we eat. So, um, that's a big problem too, especially with people who take opiates or anything that dams you up. Because um, you're not, your body's not getting the full circulation, the good healthy circulation to transfer nutrients all over the body. And then on top of that, your liver is also not even up to the task of breaking down the things that you're putting in it on a normal basis. So you can start to see how like it's a crescendo effect. That's why it says, you know, when <clears throat> it rains, it pours, like there's truth to that. But the same is true on the opposite side of the spectrum. When you start to do things that are good for your body, you'll get many different good benefits. Um, so luckily, those functions can be supported by choosing the right diet and supplementing it with Mitco Liver. I, I've not looked into those um, products, so I'm not going to talk about that. But let's see, the liver helps to detox detoxify the blood to get rid of harmful substances. And that's where the right superfoods can help. <clears throat> so these harmful substances are most commonly due to lifestyle factors such as alcohol, tobacco, beauty products, and processed and fried foods, especially when consumed in large quantities. I want to say this too about Andrew, if you guys watched that video. He lived in the South, Alabama, and, you know, they love to eat a lot of fried food, man. And I love it too, but too much of that stuff can be really bad for your body. Um, so I have a feeling that was part of the contributing factor to his early demise was, was his, his diet, his, his food intake. Um, the liver requires large amounts of micronutrients, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants to be able to perform its processes. And many of these micronutrients can be found in common foods. Incorporating a selection of superfoods to your diet, you can naturally cleanse and perfect this hard-working organ. <clears throat> so this is a list of uh, the top eight superfoods to naturally detox and cleanse your liver. Tea. Tea is widely considered to be beneficial for health, but evidence has shown that it may have benefits for the liver. A study based in Japan found that drinking 5 to 10 cups of tea, green tea a day, was associated with improved blood mark, markers of liver health. This may be down for, to a compound known to assist liver function named uh, catechin. Green tea is packed full of this plant antioxidant. Just be mindful of the green tea extract as it can have a negative effect. Interesting. <clears throat> Um, so the next thing is cruciferous vegetables. I'm probably not going to read all of these because you guys, I mean, it's a good amount of reading. If you all really want to check this out, then I suggest you guys just, um, you know, do a little research. And this is just one website. Um, it just looked, it caught my eyes. So I clicked on it and thought I'd see what they have to show. Um, but again, you know, and the type of foods, you know, just taking as many factors as you can when choosing your foods. Like, what's your mental state? Where do you live? What's your health like? What, what's your activity like? And also, what do you want to be better at? Do you want more energy? Do you want to be able to ex exercise more? Do you want to be able to relax more? There's a lot, you know, do you want your mental fac faculties to work a little bit better? There's a lot of different things um, that you need to consider when picking the right types of foods for your diet because I do think... Um, yeah, I mean, each different food, each food has a different a set of information, you could call it. So one food will be better for one thing as opposed to another. Um, so yeah, anyway, I just want to share that with you guys. Hope you all have a good day. All right, bye.